Hey everybody, Blaine Mangle here. You know, I was thinking about this word confidence, and isn't it so much easier to progress? You know, that, that, that definition from Earl Nightingale, success, the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Isn't it so much easier to progress toward your goal or your worthy ideal when confidence is instilled on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And as soon as something maybe gets off kilt or doesn't go your way, that confidence starts to struggle a little bit. Think about the word con. Con is deception. It means to deceive. If you look up the, the, the root in several different dialects. Confide, confide, confidence. The confide is the root word. Think about the word confide. Confide is I, I'm going to tell somebody something. I trust them enough to tell them something. So what do I have to tell myself? How do I have to confide in myself so that this confidence builds up in me today? That involves that involves a translation or a transaction of, of words, I believe. And I need to change the verbiage or change the mantra or the the tape in my head from the old paradigm to the new paradigm because let's face it if if I if I'm setting goals let's just think about this for a minute if I'm setting goals then there's a some place that I would rather be there's something that I desire where I am right now eh even if you think it's okay right now, if you're setting a goal, then there's something over here that you don't have that you desire, not a want. You can want anything. You could want a steak for dinner and you can go get it. A desire is a different ball game. And, and Napoleon Hill talked about a desire. You need to, if you want that thing, it needs to become a white heat of desire. This desire has to be ingrained on the screen of my mind so that if my confidence is lacking in one day, um, you know, if an obstacle is eating my lunch and, and I'm really struggling with it, if I'm ill physically or whatever these things, whatever could be happening that day, that I don't get out of whack and off kilter because you think about it, you stay narrow is the path, narrow is the way that leads to life and few find it. And we can't go to the left, we can't go to the right. There is a very narrow path. And if I just take one step off of that path, now walk straight, walk that straight way one step off, you're going you're gonna to keep getting further and further away from your goal. So if I let one thought in, now I'm over here. If I let another one, now I'm a little further off to the left or to the right. How do I get back? It's, I'm telling you from experience, it's a lot harder to get back once you've smelled it, tasted it, and seen it to get off kilter, it's a lot harder to get back. So I'm going to encourage you today to instill this confidence. Confide in yourself. Trust in yourself. Bring these positive things, these truthful things, you know, building things, things that are going to sustain you through these hard times and continually say them, whether it's a good day or whether it's a bad day. And what defines a good day and a bad day? What defines that? My feelings, they better not define it because you won't have many. If your feelings and your emotions define whether you're having a good day or a bad day, you're in for a constant battle. And I'm here to tell you from experience again, that doesn't define my day anymore. My day is defined by whether I'm walking toward my goals and whether I'm confident in myself. And let's face it, I say this all the time. There are people in my life that are, are waiting on me. There are people... <laughs> There are people in my life that are depending on me to do this, to remain confident, to remain on that narrow path toward life, toward the goals, toward the desires. There's another scripture, and then I'll end this. I don't want to get too long. There's a scripture that says, Love Yah, and He will give you the desires of your heart. So, like, well, I love Him. I guess I'll get that red Corvette over there. No. I love him, and if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. That means you'll walk in truth. That's what it means. Covenant. Two becoming one for another time. So if I'm walking in that and I am keeping his word, walking in his word, walking in the truth, now I trust him, I love him, and the desire in my heart is now his desire for me. 
okay, my desire starts to change. He wants it for me. I want it for me. Why not speak it out in confidence? Why not continually speak it and watch your confidence rise? Watch your confidence, you know, from, from a smoldering underneath a bunch of lies and garbage. Now you have this burning flame that's starting to resurrect itself and you start to build on that confidence. Now pretty soon you start to say, oh my gosh, there's a goal. I just met my goal. Oh my gosh, I just met my goal. Now you're successful day after day after day. That's a much better way to live. Confide in yourself and watch your confidence grow. Click the link below if you're watching this on Facebook. Get over to YouTube. Do the same thing if you're on YouTube. Get over to Facebook. Hey, have an awesome day.